Now that we have a scoreboard for Overwatch 2, there's some good ways to use it. And no, the best way to use it is not to just flame your teammates. Maybe you find that fun, but that is not the best way to use it to win more games. What you actually want to use your scoreboard for to win more games is recognize when something is going wrong on your team. Not so you can blast them, scream at how terrible they're doing and how they need to heal more or do more damage or how it's a major tank diff, but instead to recognize they're having problems in this case we might look at this support and see hey they're not doing all that great or maybe this dps and saying hey they're struggling and then we'd also look down at the other team and see who's doing too much work on the other team and in this case we see this widow's doing a little too much work this bap is doing a little too much work and we'd see those things and go one of these people or both of these people are doing too much to cause our teammates to not be able to play the game. You can't solve all of these problems at once and you still need to play your game. You still need to play your game, as Emox case, in his tank role here, do what he can to win the game, but he wants to now put a little extra effort on going, hey, I want to make sure the Widow is a little bit better contained. Maybe after each activity, I'll check on the Widow. Or maybe I'll open by pushing the Widow out of the fight, and then I'll go do my normal thing. Whatever the case may be, if you recognize as you're getting later into a game, like this one, which is in round three and over 50% on both sides in round three, a, that's when you want to be looking to make adjustments. You'd find similar stuff in a payload map if you got to overtime rounds, or maybe one side is over and you're halfway through the second round. This would be the time to take a look at the scoreboard and go, hey, don't spend like a minute formulating your strategy, but if you need to make adjustments because you feel like the momentum has come out of your sails and is now in the opponent's sails, especially if you were winning early, take a look at the scoreboard and see, hey, who do I need to contain? Maybe that's diving into your own backline to deal with a Genji. Maybe that's going to be a case of, hey, I just need to put a little poke pressure on Ash to keep her from peeking so often, or maybe I need to put a little poke pressure on the tank so that they can't go as deep. Whatever the case may be there, those are the sort of adjustments you're making, looking to make. And we did this with Emong. We could just as easily do this over here with Custa take a look at his game we see the other support is struggling a bit again in a round that is gone both sides here this is uh you know very close but both sides are taking around here so is someone on the other team doing too too much work well the tank yeah this roadhog over here is doing too much work and our anna isn't really doing enough so maybe we've got additional information from the feed maybe we have additional information from what we saw with our own eyes in terms of what was going on in the match but if we didn't get that information, this now exists, and we can go, hey, I need to contain this Roadhog a little better, which means I need to put a little more pressure on him until he pops his breather, and then he's pretty harmless, and I'll go jump and do other things. Or maybe, since you're playing, since it's Custa here, this would be more a case of, hey, what we're going to do is we're going to mostly play our game, but after we complete every action or so, maybe it's we get an elimination, maybe it's we fire off a volley, maybe it's, hey, we bail out someone else that got in trouble, we take a look and check on the player who is struggling and go, hey, do they need me to throw the Harmony Orb on them? They don't, let me go back to what I was doing. That sort of thing. And we could do this with other examples, but the real point of this is now that we have a scoreboard, you do have greater ability to diagnose problems without just relying on other players to tell you what's going wrong for them which you weren't really going to super trust in the first place because players have a tendency to blame the wrong thing they have game sense you know at the rank that you're trying to climb above after all so now you have this better tool anyway that's what i wanted to share today if you're enjoying the content drop a like consider subscribing for more thought-provoking overwatch and overwatch 2 analysis and i'll see you in the next one thanks temporal out